Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. I have another interesting video here. Now this time working on a Volvo Penta 5 uh, 5.0. Let me see. He put it right here. Yeah, 5.0 GXI G. Uh, the serial number is 4012214635. Uh, this is for a 2007 Four Winds H2 H200 model. Uh, he said that this is a, a technician. His name is Craig Hoskin from Canada. Uh, this is from a shop, DT Power Sports Marine. They sent me this computer because they didn't indeed uh, test it, everything, and it was properly test, um, which is really, uh, I'm really happy to see a good technician on the marine side because sometimes it's a little hard to find so if you have a boat and you're in Canada, look for this shop because it's definitely a very good shop. All right, so just to make the story short, in his notes, he said that the customer or somebody um, tried to, um, let me just read for. This boat was a new customer to us. It had something showing the trim sender wires off outside the boat. They were messed up and possibly at one time touching each other or not known what had damaged you at the wires previously previously so they repaired the pinch wire to make the story short uh, when they replaced the analog trim gauge to the correct one original owner had replaced and replaced it before thinking gauge was the issue it was a uh, not the correct gauge um, and the gauge was never the issue the issue was a three wire sender all alone, I'm not sure if it had been correctly or incorrectly hooked up the new chip gauge. If you put power gauge to analog wire from the ECM, it blows the ECM circuit. So after the new proper gauge and the new trim wire sender, the trim gauge does not work. No analog signal coming from the ECM. Uh, they said that they don't have the available software diagnostics, but they have um, able to test everything properly and they know that it's not working so i'm going to show here sorry if i was in a weird angle uh, for those that are working on these boats you can get uh, rinda um, diacom uh, and you can access the information i have in here uh, the actual uh, information from the manual so if i open uh, diacom which let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is Diacom for Marine Diagnostics. You can access all these service manuals right here. So if you wanna have a Volvo Penta like they have, you can access in here again, 2006 to 2012, this is a 2007. And this is a, you know, uh, EGC computer. You have on Volvo Penta, most often they have either uh, MEFI 4, uh, for the newest ones, MEFI 3 for the old ones, and then the EGC modules so for, you know, e-controls. All right, so I selected the 5.0 and then opens this manual that I was already having open. As you can see, is and there is the same part number. I also have the wire diagram, which, um, again, I hope the both sector will be more like the automotive where you can select wires and everything there's no way to do that in here you have to actually follow the wire on the screen or get a marker you know like print this out and get a marker but then it's so small because let me just zoom out so you can see the size of this complete um diagram so everything is in here but again you have to follow the wire through the whole thing and it's messy i mean Again, everything is in here. So if I follow, I found, you know, the trim sender, uh, trim sender right here. So it's a, it's a, a three wire sensor. So five volt reference sensor ground, and then a signal. And it's funny because the signal, let me just, uh, no, the actual five volt reference is going through a 120 ohm resistor for the trim, for the trim sender. No idea why, but that's just the way they have it. And then they have a 14 way, you know, 14 pin connector where the trim gauge is connected on pin uh, 10. If I follow that, which I already put the notes, I can go over to pin 86 
on the computer and find how in pin 86 in here it says auxiliary power modulated 3 and that is the same brown and white 16 but if we go back to again that um, to engage is a brown white 16 so I believe me I did the homework and I know exactly what I'm talking about I can tell you also that the twin sender uh, signal it goes to pin 46 on the computer and then we have it here uh, let me just remember I think it's brown white 18 it's funny because this one is brown white 16 and that one is brown white 18 but then if I go over to pin 46 and we have in here it says auxiliary analog uh, PU I don't know why it's PU but that's just the way they they name it on on the manual and it says as you can see brown white 18 I have also uh, follow the sensor ground and the sensor uh, fiber reference for the trim sender which are in pins 19 and 20 if we see here again we have on the other wires we have a light green red and a black light green pins uh, 18 so again you know that's probably the gauge size but so if I go over to 19 and 20 on the computer uh, right here fiber external one and then five will return which is the ground right so and we can see light green red 18 and black light green 18 those are the exactly same wires so I have those already in my multimeter here so let me just unplug this here you can see that this is indeed pin, pin 20 and believe me the other one is the five volt reference well actually let me just show you since I'm doing this that this is indeed a five volt reference one and it's pin 19 I also have uh, rigged out into my um, simulator the trim sender sensor which is pin 46 and I'm going to show you in a second and I have the gauge on pin 86 I have it right now outside here because I want to show you what is happening as soon as I turn the ignition on so let me again uh, put uh, Diacom running for this I have to turn the ignition on and the computer runs I mean it's nothing wrong as far as the computer for running the the boat but it's not working those gauges so I can select this now and I can run the computer and then I lost the sync for my simulator so let me put the signal for that for that one it's a 5.0 I can write it in oh, and for some reason it's not working I have to plug it and sometimes it does that it's just an old software sometimes it has a glitch with Windows 11 but it's working good so all right again I select the signals open in here go over to these are signals I made this is a 4x 1x for cam and crank and now I can write that information in like this is now going to be in sync and I can show you also if we go over the manuals um, do I have that is still open yeah let me show you that in here like um, let me go back to yeah this, those are the signals in here so if I go up to distributors in cam so this is like I said, the capture position sensor is in, it works in conjunction with a 1x reluctor wheel mounted in the distributor. It is determined, used to determine the position of cylinder one will synchronize with a 24x crunching position sensor. If also because this work can work on the onto the 8.1, but if I go over to the crunch position sensor, it tells me that the design allows for a quicker the CKP sensor also outputs a 4x signal for spark control so as it says the crunch position sensor is a magneto resistive type sensor the ckp sensor works in conjunction with a 24x reluctor wheel so it has actually two sensor signals one for timing and the other one for spark for what i need to have in here i just need to provide a 4x and 1x You'll see if you if you have ever take one of these reluctors or crankshaft or crankshaft because it's actually in the crankshaft you'll see that it has uh, two uh, wheels two 
reluctors attached to each other. One has 24x and the other one has a 4x. It's just the way they are. All right, so going back into here, we got everything to run. So let's now run this. I have to put RPM. You can see it's on 200 right now, I'm going up. 400, 500, right there at 600. And we have, you know, ignition. And this is again one signal for the distributor, and then uh, eight coils and sorry, eight injectors. So one coil, eight injectors, and we have all that here. Everything is working good. As you can see, all the injectors are firing and they're all in the same time. So no problems with that. The gauge, <coughs> so the fireball reference, I want to show you here. <coughs> Let me drink a little water. <clears throat> As you can see, the fireball reference, this computer has two fireball references and they're both working. I have the other one in here, which is pin 49 and pin 50. Those are the other, the other fireball reference. I want to show you the trim uh, sensor, which is, uh, let me see if I find it. Trim, trim, trim. It's right here. So let me uh, trim sensor voltage. I can make that bigger. And I like this from Diacom because you can select one pit. And as you can see, all I'm going to do is change that. Like if I am changing the trim position. I change the trim sensor voltage and the computer is running good. So that's that part is perfect. So that is no nothing wrong with that. But if I measure the gauge, um, the trim sensor gauge right now, let me try to do this with one hand. I'm right now connecting this multimeter. I'm going to connect it here to the trim gauge, which this is a driver, so this should send, as Greg was saying, an analog signal for the gauge to read. So, but if I have this with the ignition on, this is fiber reference, this is sensor ground. So if I touch in here, um, let me make sure. I am indeed some hard. It's not beeping. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is I put this on to continuity. This should never have continuity to ground. It's completely shorted. And we can see that in here because if I put the trim sender, uh, let me see if I have it. Uh, it's actually on the on the faults. If I go over to the trim, uh, trim gauge, it shows as a short. And that is definitely the problem that he is experiencing. So what we have right now is a driver completely shorted because it was connected improperly. I do have those drivers in stock. I'm going to contact um, Craig and then let him know that yes, I can repair his computer and that I can send it back very shortly. All right, this is again, uh, first part. I want to share all these and how I get the information. I was actually going to provide the signal for that analog gauge with uh, my uh, oscilloscope. So to see the reaction when I change the, the actual, um, uh, you know, the trim sender. But we will be seeing that on part two. Everything is working good. That is the IAC, what you can see here. That is a substituted value. That's what we use. And instead of an IAC, that is going to be just a lot of noise. And I do have the IAC. I can plug it in. But uh, it's just a little noisy. But yeah, so everything is working good. I just need to replace that uh, circuit for the uh, three gauge. Thank you so much for visiting the channel. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have any marine computer, any automotive computer, please contact me. I'm going to put the email in my website here so you guys can contact me if you have any module to repair. I try my best to have as much as parts in stock, but if I can have it, I'll let you know. And then we will order uh, before you send the computer. I always like to have a little conversation with the customer to see what the problems and what are the tests. I don't take computers just straight from an owner you know, sending it to me without a diagnostic report or test being performed before because it's very hard to work like that. But 
everything else if you have a diagnostic report you already have a diagnosis by a technician or by shop then please contact me and i will be more than glad and happy to help you all right see you next time bye bye thank you